MTS ESP is a new messaging protocol that allows plugins um, and applications to share tuning information. So you can have uh, one application acting as a server or as a master, as Odd Sound calls it, um, serving up its tuning information, and then other applications or plugins uh, acting as clients and using that tuning information. It's really exciting for BitClavier because BitClavier has some really wonderful uh, tuning capabilities, creating you know, customizable tunings for particular compositions or using um, adaptive and uh, dynamic tunings like spring tuning. Um, and so now those tunings can actually be applied outside of BitClavier to other plugins. And you can see here, there's a client list here, and there's quite a few developers who have been um, adding MTS ESP support to their to their plugins and instruments, um, which is uh, which is exciting. And now we can add BitClavier to that list. Now, uh, first, before using MTS ESP, you need to download it. It's free. You just install MTS ESP Mini, and that will install all the th all the stuff that you need for it to work. Even if you aren't actually using their specific um, software, it still needs some stuff uh, installed in the background uh, to make it work. So if you want to do this, go ahead and, and do this free download and then install it. What I'm going to show today is a, a simple setup with uh, BitClavier and Pianotech, this awesome physical modeling uh, piano <clears throat> instrument, uh, loaded up together in a logic session here. We can see one track has BitClavier here, one track has Pianotech here, um, and um, both of them are uh, set to record so that we can hear them. Um, but I have uh, BitClavier muted because we actually just want to be hearing Pianotech, but we're playing through BitClavier so that its tuning information gets updated as needed. So, logic session, two tracks, both record enabled, BitClavier muted. Now, how do we get this tuning information to be shared? First of all, we will go into the tuning uh, preparation in BitClavier, and you'll notice there's this new button, Register MTS Master. And so we click that, and we'll see, you'll note over here that this is now switched to MTS ESP. If I disconnect, it'll go away. So now this is telling me that <clears throat> Pianotech is listening to BitClavier and following its tunings. So we're in equal temperament. Let's put it in more of an overtone tuning. So now we can see that the tuning of piano, piano tech, which is all that we're hearing, is actually following the tuning of bit clavier. That's the basic idea. It's pretty simple. You could do this with lots of different plugins all at once, even with multiple bit claviers. Um, <clears throat> so let's take a look at one other thing. This is a static tuning, right? And so it just it never changes. Let's take a look at an adaptive tuning. And in order to create an adaptive tuning in, in BitClavier, we need to connect the tuning to a keyboard so that the tuning itself is actually following a keyboard. And then I'm going to load up uh, standard spring tuning. And uh, you'll notice sometimes when you change the tuning configuration, the MTS disconnects. And so you sort of have to disconnect and reconnect. All right, so now I have spring tuning attached here. And I'm going to play some notes. And you can actually hear the little wobble that confirms for us that that piano tech is following the spring tuning. Uh, and if we want to make it really obvious, well, we can turn down the drag and turn down the anchor stiffness in this thing. Aha, interesting. This also happens sometimes. You'll notice this disconnected. This is it's a little temperamental, I'll be honest. Uh, disconnect, reconnect. Sometimes when you change parameters, the MTS system seems to become disconnected, but it's easy to reconnect. Uh, I'm going to bring the anchor stiffness back up so that this unmoored system becomes moored again. So that's the basic idea. BitClavier can also be a client, like, like I've got set 
piano tech here. So if you just want to have multiple bit claviers or if you're using something else as the server or the master, bit clavier can, can do that as well. So pretty simple, pretty fun. I'm excited. Have at it.